Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is season 6 episode 17 of City Signings now if you do want to enjoy today's video please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 70 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification button it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on this signing as well down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Bradford City signing Tyreek Wright on loan from Aston Villa for the remainder of the campaign now obviously today is a deadline day and we expected a couple more additions Mike Hughes said after I think it was the Sheffield Wednesday game that he does expect at least two more additions to come in through the door at the time of recording Tyreek Wright is the only one to have been announced I'm recording this at quarter to 10. I obviously woke up this morning saw the news about Wright and I've cracked on straight away to try and get this video out as early as possible because like I said I expect more signings to come out usually on Thursdays I upload my match previews as well so that'll be out tomorrow if there's any more signings they'll be out my reaction to them will be out later tonight but make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so Bradford City tweeted this morning at 8 o'clock saying breaking news welcome to exciting winger Tyreek Wright who arrives on loan from Premier League side Aston Villa the article does then read City the right move for Tyreek if I'm pronouncing his name, name wrong let me know how you actually pronounce it down in the comment section down below but Bradford City AFC is delighted to announce the signing of exciting winger Tyreek Wright who arrives on loan from Premier League side Aston Villa Wright has put pen to paper on the agreement which will keep him at the University of Bradford Stadium for the remainder of the 2022-23 campaign at 20 the Republic of Ireland under 21 international has already three Premier League two appearances to his name this season for Villa scoring once and registering one assist over the past two seasons he has served long spells at Walsall, Salford City and Colchester United, making 44 appearances in Skybet League 2. He said, I'm absolutely loving it here already. Everyone has been so welcoming. The stadium looks unbelievable and I just cannot wait to play in front of the supporters. I would say I am very energetic and direct. I love one against one situations. Try to play the game with a smile on my face and get the fans off their seats. There will be a lot of healthy competition here, but I'm ready for it. I'm looking forward to learning from other players in my position and working with a manager like Mark Hughes. He outlined the ambitions of this club and what the fans expect, so I just cannot wait to get started, play in front of this crowd and embrace the challenge. City manager Mike Hughes said Tyreek is a player who looks to make things happen and one we are pleased to be bringing to the club for the remainder of the season. At 20, he is young, driven and determined to succeed and has traits to play which will benefit our squad. He has a great turn of pace, trickery and technical ability and with three goals for Republic of Ireland's under-21 side, a clear eye for goal. We are looking forward to seeing him get started in Clarence and Amber and I'm sure you will join me in wishing him the very best while with us. Wright will wear number 32 in Claret and Amber and be sponsored by EM Workwear and Embroidery. His sign is subject to the relevant EFL and FA clearances. Now unless I've missed something, Aston Villa haven't tweeted about this whatsoever. This was nearly done two hours ago, the announcement. It's now 5 to 10 when I'm recording this and yeah, they've not said anything about it so I don't know if they've got an academy page which they might have said something on but on their actual Twitter account nothing has been said. So if we have a look then at his career so far, in 2000 2006, he started out his youth career with Lakewood Athletic. He was with them until 2018 before he did join Aston Villa from 2018 to 2021. Obviously, then in 2021, he did turn professional. He's yet to make a league appearance for Aston Villa. In 2021, he went out on loan to Walsall, where he scored zero goals in 16 appearances. Then at the start of the 21-22 campaign, he went out on loan to Salford City, where he scored one goal in 16 appearances before spending the second half of last season with Colchester United, where he scored one goal in nine appearances. Now, Colchester Chester fans definitely don't have well definitely don't hold him in the highest of regards but like we touched on with his Republic of Ireland under 21 international caps he scored three goals in 13 appearances for them if we have a look at some of his in-depth statistics then if we go to his league two stats from last season this is counting both loan spells with Salford and Colchester United he played 28 matches in total starting 12 averaging 39 minutes per 90 he scored two goals averaging a goal every 540 minutes averaging 0.7 shots per game, averaging 0.3 shots on target per game and he missed two big chances. He averaged 20.1 touches per game, created one of big chances and averaged 0.6 key passes per game. He had averaged 7.9 passes per game, 67% of them being successful. With I mean, a 77% success rate passing accuracy in his own half and a 58% passing accuracy in the opposition half. 39% of his long balls were accurate with 24% of his chip passes being accurate and finally 13% of his crosses were accurate as well. In terms of his 
defensive stats, he averaged 0.1 interceptions per game, 0.8 tackles per game, 0.1 possession wins per game. He was dribbled past on 0.3 occasions per game, and he also averaged 0.4 clearances as well. In terms of his dribbling stats, he averaged 0.3 dribbles per 90. 41% of them have been successful. He averaged two total duels as well. 41% of them have been successful. He averaged 1.6 ground duels per 90, winning 46% of them, and he averaged 0.3 aerial duels per 90, winning 25% of them. Yeah, not great statistics so far. He was fouled on 0.5 occasions and he also gave away 0.6 fouls as well. Now, Bradford City have actually just tweeted that we've signed somebody else. Hold on, wait a minute. Is this Dion Pereira? We have just signed Dion Pereira. That That is genuinely just come through right now. Dion Pereira has signed. Oh my God, that video will be out a little bit later tonight. Well, not to take the light away from Tyreek Wright, but it, they have just confirmed Dion Pereira has rejoined the club. We don't know as of right now. I'm presuming they'll announce it in a minute's time, whether it's going to be permanent, loan, loan until January. I'm not really too sure. But back on to Tyreek Wright. If we have a look at his loan spells so far, they haven't really worked out for him. It's good. He's, he's a good opportunity for him to come here and prove himself. He can play on the right wing and he can play on the left wing in terms of his strengths and weaknesses, according to Sofa Score. He has no outstanding strengths and his weaknesses are his passing so I mean we'll just have to wait and see I'm not going to judge him until he has played in a Bradford City shirt he probably will make quite a lot of appearances this season because I can't see Aston Villa letting him go out on loan once again just to sit on the bench all season but if he is to play as a right winger this season what does that mean for the other players with Dion Pereira obviously now coming in as well Scott Banks has been on fire recently you've got so many other wingers as well like Issa Chapman obviously we know about Osadibe he's not going to be back until at least March even if not April time now I do want to apologize for this video being a little bit all over the place but I'm sure you can understand my excitement with mid-recording Bradford City announcing the signing of Dion Pereira. It has now been confirmed he has rejoined the club on a season-long loan. My full thoughts on that will be out later tonight. But back onto Tyreek Wright. Like I said, he's got a lot of competition. It is going to be hard for him to get into that team. And when he does get into the team, he is going to have to stand out and play very well because we've got a couple of wingers now. I do believe that he is left-footed who can play on the right-hand side but can also play on the left. If you think about the options that we've got, maybe Jamie Walker is more of a long-term injury, which will be a massive loss loss for us but if you have somebody like Scott Banks on the right, Dion Pereira in the 10 and then maybe Tyreek right on the left potentially Harry Chapman as well because I think Chapman as a left winger could well definitely will do a much better job than he has been doing as a number 10 because it's clearly not worked out for him so far in that number 10 position but when he has played a couple of appearances as a left winger I think Chapman has been very good but does Tyreek Wright play as a left winger because Hughes likes his wingers to cut in so is Wright going to start over Banks? I can't see that with how well Banks is playing. We've got so many good options now I just can't wait to see them all playing. I, I definitely rather not be in Mark Hughes situation at this moment because he's got a lot he's, he's going to let a lot of players down going into the weekend because there's going to be some players who don't make the squad and that's crazy to think because some of the quality that we've got in the squad who won't even make the bench on Saturday is absolutely mind-blowing but anyway that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video if you have enjoyed please make sure to drop a like on there for me if you could try and hit 70 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 7,000 subscribers so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell and it's free to do so and it does massively help out get your thoughts on this signing as well down in the comment section down below what are your thoughts on Bradford City signing Tyreek Wright on a season long loan from Aston Villa thank you very much for watching shout out to our current tier 3 channel member B Davies 211 have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all later today my reaction to Dion Pereira signing a new loan deal with the football club thank you for watching I'll see you all later peace